Okay, here we are at 357 Shore Drive, Ellington, Florida, listed at 1.2 million. It's a three bedroom, two bath, with an office, and a bonus room. The home has been completely remodeled. However, it is built in 1970. So the layout uh, is a little interesting. So I want to make sure through this video you can kind of get an idea. Uh, before we go inside, I wanted to show you that there's an area over here where you could park an RV. And we even have over here a 30 amp plug as well as the uh, clean out for the sewer is right there. So easy if you wanted to uh, park your RV there. Okay, we got a brick paver driveway, a two and a half uh, two car garage, but it is an extended two car, uh, oversized two car garage. So plenty of room over here if you wanted to put in, you know, workbench or something in the garage. I'll show you real quick. Okay, so you have your two bays and then of course you have this extra area over here uh, where you could put in a workbench or something like that the hot water heater over there is brand new as are many of the things inside the house if we go in the front door here you'll see one of the first things you'll notice is the floors and it is uh, porcelain wood look tile floor throughout the whole house and as soon as you come in here and step to the right I mean the first thing you'll notice is the amazing view right out the back right onto the river you're look, overlooking your own dock with your boat lift okay and you can see there's the what was once upon a time a Florida room, I imagine, but you can see that's been completely renovated. There's no wall there. There is full AC in there. And you have your living room here. Okay, and if you turn to the right, you have your gorgeous kitchen, granite counters, subway tile backsplash. There's under cabinet lighting. There's uh, soft closed drawers, you know what I mean. Okay, stainless steel appliances. And again, from your kitchen, you are looking right out. Beautiful water view. And we'll go out there in a little bit. Let me show you the layout with the bedrooms. So if we go back this way, here's your front door to the left. If you come in and if you had made a left, here's where you have two bedrooms and a bathroom. Let's go with this bedroom first to the left. We call this one of the guest bedrooms. And there's your closet. Okay. And if we walk through back out through here to the left is the bathroom. Again, everything's been completely redone. Even the plumbing has been redone. Okay, and we turn around, make a left, and we go into what is considered the master bedroom. Now what you'll notice is there is no bathroom. To attached to the master bedroom okay you do have a closet over here and you have your own private lanai off of the master okay this is not shared with the rest of the house it's your own private lanai there is another lanai that is shared with the rest of the house you're looking again from out here beautiful view of the water your boat and dock, beautiful paver patio, giant oak tree. Okay. All right, 
Now let's go back in to the bedroom. Okay, we go back out here. And again, you have your front door. Here's your front door. If you were to come in through the house, we're now, so we've seen two of the bedrooms, one of the bathrooms. If we walk past the kitchen, we have another bedroom over here. And this area, once upon a time, was, was a garage. I, long before these, Sellers bought the place it was converted and it is a bedroom now Has a side door that goes to the outside large walk-in closet and these owners Put the washer and dryer in here Okay, I'll show you you could there is another area that you could actually turn into a laundry room They had a big family so that the area I'm um, speaking of they used as a bedroom okay so we'll come back out back out here in our kitchen oops sorry about that okay now before we go into the florida room let me show you uh the office right off of here this could easily be used as a fourth bedroom but there is no closet you can see Let me expand this a little bit okay but there is a, a window that is again looking right out on the water so if you want to keep this as an office work from home Look out on the water, watch the dolphins swim by. Not a bad way to work. Okay, now we're back into our living room. We have the Florida room on the left. And again, before we go in there, I wanna show you the other bathroom and then the other little room that we've been calling a bonus room. Okay, so here is the other bathroom. This is the only room in the house that doesn't have the matching uh, porcelain wood look tile floors. And the reason was, was before they bought this house, this bathroom had just been renovated. So they didn't see any reason to redo it. However, they do have the tile available. Uh, that they'll, they will leave the tile with the house. This can be redone and match the rest of the house if you feel it necessary. Now, here is this, this, what we're calling a bonus room. Um, there is no, this would have been the back of the garage, the old garage. You'll notice there's no windows. It's definitely not a bedroom. There are no windows. This is block. And the closet, even the closet here, is, has the air handler in it. So it's not even really a closet. So definitely not a bedroom. Oh, and then back here you have the tankless hot water heater, which is also brand new. So you have two water heaters, a regular one, a tankless one, everything brand new. Whole house has been replumbed. Uh, no, don't have, definitely don't have to worry about plumbing issues. Now this is the room I was suggesting that you could turn into a nice laundry room. You already have electric in here, you already have water in here. I don't think that would be a big deal if you wanted to make this a nice laundry room. Um, and then you could get the washer and dryer out of the closet from the other bedroom. Okay. Now let's come back out here. We got the bathroom on the left, going back into the living room. And now we are in what once upon a time was probably the Florida room. Okay. But you'll see there is a uh, AC vent up there. So this is now part of the house. All of these windows are hurricane windows. Okay. Now if you come out from here, you're now in the lanai that's shared with the rest of the house. Okay, another beautiful lanai. You can see plenty of storage. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go outside 
and this is really the best part of the house is the location is just phenomenal okay you have the beautiful paver patio giant oak trees um, see over here this is where they store their toys and you'll see plenty of room they have jet skis park back here there's a boat ramp uh, to put your you know if you have more toys to you want to launch in the boat ramp or take your boat in and out of the water the boat ramp is at the end of the block okay the whole yard is uh, completely fenced, so if you have pets, it's perfect for that. Uh, we're sitting on over half an acre. Uh, there is a storage shed over here that does actually have electricity in it as well. Okay, fire pit. We have all of this, if you can see at the bottom of these trees, we have professional landscape lighting. So at night, you can light up all of these trees. It's absolutely beautiful. But really, this place is a boater's dream because right from your backyard, you are on the Manatee River. There is both electric and water out to the dock. So, you can see down here, these are lights. So at night, those lights over here, they light up. Beautiful day on the water. I think the dock is 100 feet long. dock you have your boat lift it's a 12,000 pound boat lift the cables and the rollers were recently replaced they have it set up for jet skis but all you have to do is move the bunks uh, in order to uh, fit your boat and again it's just just beautiful out to the east this way yeah, you go under I-75 the bridge over there head a little bit more east and there's some fantastic water skiing back there and then this way you head west that's the Manatee River and that will take you out to the Gulf of Mexico and you'll have spectacular sunsets okay from the back beautiful yard again this is 357 Shore Drive in Ellington Florida 1.2 million three bedroom two bath plus an office and a bonus room dock boat lift beautiful have any questions, give me a call. Number is 941-465-9206. Or you can visit this home online, uh, www.ukeepcommission.com.